Okay, we're out here at East Penn Middle School with Desi Washington, who will be hosting a summer camp on July 11th through the 14th. What's up, Des? What's going on, man? Not much, not much, you know? Happy to be here with you. Yep. Yeah, it's a pleasure. Yeah, glad you're back in the States. Glad to see you made it back safely. Thank you. Um, now, what are you going to be doing this weekend? Let's start, let's start there. Uh, you're in the three-point competition? Yeah, so there's a uh, three-point contest from, I think, Saturday and Sunday uh, up at Spooky Nook um, in Lancaster. It's uh, for $100,000, the three qualifying rounds on Saturday, and then I guess it's like top 64 people move on to Sunday, uh, and I think top 30 uh, leave with cash prize. Pause. Did he just say $100,000, as in 100K? Find a baller had to pull up on site for this. Doing just that, I took a trip to Spooky Nook myself to see what the inaugural three-point open was all about. My name is Jordan Wortman. I'm the co-founder of the three-point open. This is our first event. We're super excited. Uh, we have over 100 shooters competing for a chance to win $100,000. So we just got done our morning session. Everyone's gonna come back and shoot a second round, an afternoon session. And the top, the top 64 shooters after day one advance to day two. Day two is head-to-head -head bracket style, single elimination based off of day one seeds. So um, it's gonna be a great event. It's already off to a good start. Tomorrow, we're gonna have a live stream for the top 32 www.3pointopen.com live stream. We have Andrew Callista from Fox and Eric Diebendorf doing some commentary. So uh, tune in and, and find us on social media. Shooters ready! How, how did you find out about it? So I actually heard about it a few months ago. I saw it on, uh, on social media. I think someone had sent it to me, $1,500 register fee. You know, I was interested in it back then, but then I kind of forgot about it, you know, being in the midst of the season. And then this past week, uh, I was on vacation and a guy who used to coach at uh, my high school hit me up. He was like, hey, you know, I just talked to the guy who runs it, you know, would you be interested in, in getting into it? And I was like, yeah, man, why not? I mean, you know, $100,000, who wouldn't want to dance to do that, especially when I've been shooting the basketball my entire life. Due to a few prior 4th of July plans, I wasn't able to attend the three-point open on both days. Nevertheless, I had a great time as a spectator, and Desi shot a remarkable 80% in the first round. Literally missed one shot per rack. 20 for 25. I don't know how else to say it, but Desi's a walking bucket. This summer, Desi will be playing in ESPN's TBT, short for the basketball tournament. We had a chance to talk about that in St. Peter's 2022 March Madness run. Last year uh, was our first year applying for the TBT, which uh, if people don't know what the TBT is, it's basically a March Madness tournament for alumni teams or teams with uh, some sort of cause like you know, ALS or you know, some sort of cancer. Or, you know, whatever the case may be. Um, actually, our first game is against uh, the, uh, the team called Autism Awareness. They made a post yesterday about me uh, saying, you know, am I the most clutch player in the TBT uh, based off of, you know, things I've done in my career. Um, I mean, I wouldn't, I, I don't know. That's for the people to decide. You know, I, I don't really speak too much on it, but, you know, it's just an honor for them to be able to recognize that. Now, uh, what, 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 what foundation is your team playing for? Uh, actually, so we're just one of the alumni teams, and you know, hopefully, we can just bring awareness to our school. Um, you know, our, my school just had you know a great Elite Eight run uh, in, the, in the NCAA tournament in the Mar in uh, March. So it's basically you know to bring awareness to that. You know, they, a whole bunch of articles came out about how tough of a job it is. And, you know, it's just you know trying to get more you know recognition to the school and hopefully brings in more funding because it is a tough place to play. 
it's a tough job to have for any of the coaches. Um, you know, there's a lot of different factors that go into that. So hopefully we can, you know, continue to just bring awareness to it, bring recognition, and you know, we can continue to put St. Peter's on the map. Yeah, I, I definitely watched that uh, first game against what Kentucky. Yeah, Kentucky. Yeah, uh, where were you when you when that game was going? Man, I think it might have been like three in the morning, probably in France. Okay. So. I'm watching the game. I actually believe that they could win that game um, just because I didn't think Kentucky was, you know, it's not the Kentucky of like, you know, early 2010s. Um, so I feel like, you know, that it was a perfect matchup for them to win. Um, and they did. And then they just, you know, after that, that's all you need is one win. And then, then the momentum starts to go. And then, you know, you got yourself a Cinderella story. Again, a big thank you to the organizers of the Three Point Open. I look forward to future three point competitions. Let's go, St. Peter's. Who doesn't like a good underdog, right? Hey guys, my name is Blake Hamilton. If you want to see more hometown athletes, coaches, or trainers, subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out findabala.com. Thanks for watching.